Hi everyone and welcome to Hema's Academy. Today we will learn a special language called Scratch. This is a programming language that makes it easy to create your own interactive stories, games and animations. Scratch is developed by MIT Media Lab and it is an open source software. I'll show you how to open Scratch first. First, I'll search Scratch. Then I'll select the second one, which is scratch.mit.edu. This is how it will look like when you open it. You can click on start creating or you can create an account and then start creating. This is how it will look like when you open it. If you haven't signed it, at the top you'll see two options, join scratch and sign in. Join scratch is to create a new account and sign in is to sign in if you already have an account. Now I'll show you how to make an account. Suppose you don't have an account and you want one to save all your games and stories. You have to join Scratch which is to make an account. You can even use Scratch without an account, but you won't have it saved. You can also go to save to your computer if you don't have an account. Now I'll show you how to make one. When I click join Scratch, this is how it will look like. First, I'll enter a random name. I'll enter fake and a password and then the same password again. I can click next. This username is already taken so I have to try another one. This username is also taken, so I'll try a different one. Now it asks me what country do I live in. You can select a country, I'll just select America and then click next. You can enter a random year and enter. Since I'm a male, I'll enter male. You can choose any other option. Next, it will ask you your email. Uh, since I don't want an account, I'll not, uh, not enter my email. If you want an account, you can just enter your email and click create your account. This app is where we write and edit the code. So it's called a code editor. It is used both for programming language and it is a code editor. The Scratch language is made of special blocks that each represent one command. Suppose if I take the move 10 steps block, it will move forward. You can activate it by clicking on it or you can 
attach it to an event. Suppose I go to events and get the one green flag is clicked and attach it to the move 10 steps. So whenever I click the green flag, it will move 10 steps. And the green flag is up here. So every time I click it, it moves 10 steps. If you want to take away a block, you can just drag it black into the place you got it. We have different blocks that allow us to do different things like control the motion, control the sound, and control the appearance of our sprite or our background. You can also drag and place your sprite. Sprite is the character that you are coding and using. Since I'm using this cat, this is my sprite. You can also add more sprites by clicking the sprite button. You have many different types of sprites with different costumes. You can also do specific search like only animals, only people, only fantasy things, or dance, or music, sports, food, fashion, and letters. I'll choose a random sprite, which is the ball. Now I'll choose a background by clicking the background button. And same as the sprites, you have many backgrounds. And you have fantasy, music, sports, outdoors, indoors, space, underwater, and patterns. If I want to code the sprite, which is my cat, I can click on it over here, and I can code it. You can see what character you're coding by the image at the top right hand corner. If I select the ball, I see the ball and I can code the ball. Now I'll show you different costumes. These are all the costumes of this same ball. So we have ball A, ball B, ball C, ball D, and ball E which are all different colors. You can also choose a costume. You can search a costume or paint your own costume. You can draw lines, circles, squares. You can type text. You can zoom out and zoom in using the controls at the bottom. You can also fill and erase. You can also paint yourself. You have the selector. You can select, delete anything you want. You can also group and ungroup, which makes it a one whole thing. And you can copy and paste it. You also have this tool, which allows you to make curves. 
Suppose I have a line here and another line here. If I select this tool, I can make a point on this line and then shape it like a curve. And also pull the point and drag it to make it stretch. You can also turn it using the handles given. I'm just going to use the costumes we already have. If you don't want a costume, you can select it and press delete and that costume will be gone. You also have different tabs, which are motion, which controls the motion, the looks, how your sprite looks, sounds, which change the sound, events, when specify a specific event, Controls, which have loops and clones. Sensing, which does all the sensing. Operators, which are mostly used for math. And variables. At the bottom left hand corner, you have a button, which is add extension. When you click on it, you can add all these different extensions to your Scratch programming. Suppose I want to add the pen extension. I get a new pen tab and all the blocks related to pens to draw. You can also have music which change the sound of instruments. You also have Google Translate, which translates anything given to it into another language. You have text-to-speech, so you can select it and choose a language and it can speak that. Now I'll show you how to make a basic moving ball first i'll delete the sprite and choose my yellow ball now i'll choose a background i'll go to space and choose space background i want this to move so whenever I click up, it should move up. When I click down, it should move down. When I click left, it should move left. And when I click right, it should move right. This is how you do it. First, we need to specify when we want it to move. So I'll go into the events tab and get the when key pressed block four times because we have four different keys for the first i'll choose up for the second down for the third right and for the fourth left Now this will activate something, but we need to specify what we needed to activate. So I'll go into motion. So first I needed to move up, which is X, and move right and left, which is Y. You can also see the position of the sprite you selected here. We have the X and the Y. So whenever the up arrow is clicked, I want it to move up by 
five. So I'll get the change Y by block and I'll choose five. For the next one, which is down, I'll get change Y by again. Since it's a positive number, it will move up. Since I need it to move down, I'll enter negative five, which will move it down five. When I click right, I need it to move right. So I'll get the change X by block. And I'll choose 5. And same for the left. I'll change it by minus 5. Now whenever I click up, my ball moves up. When I click down, my ball moves down. When I click left, my ball moves left. And when I click right, my ball moves right. This is how you can make a simple application using Scratch. Now I'll show you how to add something else. So when the up arrow is clicked, I want it to change to the next costume. When the down arrow is clicked, I want it to change again and then for right and left also. You can also duplicate and delete the block by right clicking it and duplicate it, add a comment and delete the block. Since this is ball A, when I click left, it changes to the next costume same as for right up and down also now i'll show you some of my projects that i made using scratch this is a rainbow taco game whenever i click the green flag the wizard has to catch the tacos if it doesn't, the game is over. And another one I made is this hedgehog game using Scratch, where the hedgehog has to get the strawberry. This is how it will look like. You can move up, down, left, and right. Whenever you touch the strawberry, it'll say ouch. You get one point and your speed increases by 0 0.25. Whenever you touch the black obstacles, you move back to the left bottom corner. Each time, the speed increases, so it will make it harder and harder. Bye everyone and thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you want me to make a video on anything, comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.